and the lucky protest may have been marred by the shooting but the destruction of public uh, businesses and of course the infrastructure all over town was not foreseen fumi unajefe files in this report carnage debris blood and personal belongings of protesters who scampered for safety littered the lucky toll the smell of burning rubber fills the air plus tv africa visited the toll a day after the shooting. An eyewitness shares his experience. Yeah, it's very, very peaceful throughout yesterday. Then suddenly the soldier we are here, then chasing people and start throwing straight bullets to the protester. I witnessed like eight people that gun meet eight people. During the time that they're still shooting, then Everybody were busy running up and down, so from there, I escaped myself. After the video of soldiers shooting at protesters goes viral, the governor has promised to investigate the shooting. I have escalated this to the chief of army staff, and I'm also setting up a judicial panel of inquiry um, to investigate this. And, and even they doing their own investigation, we have to do our own investigation and be able to get to the to, to, to the to the root cause or find out you know who ordered this, where did they come from, who gave the instructions, so that we can indeed, you know, uh, put some closure to this. Many have condemned the president's speech for not specifically mentioning the Lekki Toll shooting. He did acknowledge tragedies. Human lives have been lost, acts of sexual violence have been reported. Two major correctional facilities were attacked and convicts freed. Public and private properties completely destroyed or vandalized. The sanctity of the palace of a peacemaker, the Oba of Lagos, has been violated. So-called protesters have invaded an international airport and in the process disrupted the travel plans of fellow Nigerians and our visitors. All this executed in the name of the NSAS protests. The carnage, looting and continued destruction across Lagos is overwhelming with public and private property destroyed. Many say it is the anger from the shooting. Others ascribe the looting to poverty but with calculated attempts to break into federal prisons, there are questions begging for answers. The attacks appear coordinated. The figures of casualty remain controversial. So only an independent judicial panel of inquiry may unravel the real story. Fumi Unwanjefe, reporting for Plus TV Africa.